guys welcome to my channel so today i'll be doing a really nice rose gold cranberry smoky eye i kind of cut the crease and do glitter Um, i use modern renaissance palette and this look is just so nice for this time of year if you want to wear a christmas day or like a christmas night out it's so so nice it's so warm Um, so if you want to see how i got this look please keep watching we're going to start off with primer. I'm going to mix two primers just because I am going shopping in Dublin today. Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. Two and a half weeks away. I can't believe it. Um, but I want my makeup to last. So I'm going to mix NYX Angel Veil because this is a mattifying, mattifying primer. I'm going to put that in my T-zone. And then I'm going to put a different one in my cheek area. And then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover or X Primer because this is like a moisturiser, like it's really good for dry skin. Um, it'll still keep your makeup on long as well, but it's just, I need a bit of moisture today, I feel. So I'm just going to put that everywhere else. So while we're letting that dry, we're going to move on to the eyes. Um, I'm going to be doing like a rose gold look today. I just think it's really like Christmassy and really sparkly. And I love rose gold, it's one of my favourite colours. Don't mind this eye, it's a little bit bloodshot today just because my allergies are kind of acting up. But I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And um, this has so many like cranberry warm kind of colours in it, so I thought it would be perfect for today. So I am going to go in with my first colour, which is going to be Golden Ochre. It's a nice kind of golden neutral transition colour. I'm just going to go in with my Morphe E23 um, and blend it into my transition. I'm just going to dip into my Colourpop palette, the Yes Please palette. And I'm just going to dip into this yellow here. This is called French Kiss. And the same, I'm just going to buff it into my transition. And then I'm going to dip into this kind of peachy orangey shade called Champs and I'm going to place it in my transition again. Then I'm going to dip back into the Modern Essence and I'm going to go into these two shades which is called raw sienna and burnt orange and I'm just going to mix them and I'm going to dip into a little bit of red ochre it's a really nice red kind of brownie colour and I'm going to pop that into my crease then I'm going to dip into venetian red which is a really gorgeous cranberry colour and I'm going to pop that in my crease as well. Then I'm going to dip into Love Letter which is a really nice um, kind of purpley cranberry shade and I'm just going to pop that lower than I've been placing these just right in the lower crease here. I'm just going to go in and cut the crease a little bit so I'm going to go in with a small little concealer brush. This is the Morphe M421 and I'm going to go in with my concealer. And then I'm gonna go into tempera and I'm just and I'm just gonna set my concealer. I'm just gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus and I'm gonna go in with the Ingla Pure Pigment in 124. It's a gorgeous rose gold colour. And 
And then I'm gonna go in with this Certify Eye Glitter in rose gold as well. And I'm just gonna pop that in the center of my eye. So that is the eyes done. Just really nice glittery cranberry. So we're gonna move on to the face. So I have my primer done, so we're gonna move on to foundation. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation in the shade Y365. So it's a really nice foundation. I'm just gonna draw onto my face. And I'm just gonna buff it in with the Beauty Blender. And I'm going to go in with concealer, my Colourpop concealer. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> my Colourpop concealer in no filter in the shade light. Just going to draw triangles. Triangle. Why do I always say triangles? Triangles. Under my eyes, my forehead and my chin. And then I'm just going to bounce it out with the Beauty Blender as well. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E3 brush and go into my um, Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm just going to take this banana shade here and put that underneath my eye. And then for extra powder, because um, I want this to last literally all day um i'm gonna go in my mac studio fix in nc30 with my real techniques um powder brush and i just go in and i just go over where my pores are because i just feel like this powder literally erases your pores and girl after all this money i spend on makeup i don't want no pores shining through okay so and just a little bit on my forehead I'm going to go back into my shade and light palette and I'm going to go in <clears throat> to this middle shade here and um, it's a nice neutral contour shade and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones with my Sigma F05 contour brush. I'm going to go in with my highlight next and I'm going to go in with Jouer um, citrine bronzer, just a gorgeous champagne -y gold colour and I'm going to wet my um, Morphe 501 brush and I'm going to place it on top of my cheekbones, my forehead, down my nose and my cupid. Look at that highlight, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> now I'm gonna bronze my face and I'm gonna go into the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And I'm just gonna bronze my cheekbones and my forehead with my Morphe 525 brush. And I'm going to go into MAC Warm Soul Blush. This is so gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, like, I know, there's like peach. It's like mauve, it's gold glitter. It's just gorgeous. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe E4 Angle Brush and just pop that on the backs of my cheeks. I'm gonna go back in with my highlight because I just can't get enough of it. I just think it's stunning. So, like, I don't really like this highlight dry. It can look a bit powdery, but when it's wet, it literally makes it look wet, like. So I'm just gonna go back in and add a little bit more until you, I'm literally glowing in the dark. Like, people will think I'm the Christmas light. Not the light, that's what I want to look like. And 
I'm going to go back and finish the eyes. I'm just going to go back into the Modern Racing's palette. And I'm going to dip into Red Ochre and Venetian Red and just blend under the eye. Just going to add some of that highlight to the inner corners and my brow bone. I'm going to do um, mascara and brows and I'll be right back. I literally went down and ate the messiest, um, nicest sandwich ever. And look at me. Like, actually look at me. Why do I do this? Why? So that's my brows and eyelashes done. So now I'm just going to do my lip and then it's all finished. I'm going to go in with MAC World Lip Liner because it kind of has a mauve undertone and since my eyes have that kind of cranberry rose gold I just want to match my lip a little bit so I'm just going to follow my natural lip line and outline my lips. And now I'm going to get in, now I'm going to go in with Ofra Liquid Lip in Sao Paulo. It's a really nice kind of pinky nude. These are the most amazing liquid lips. Like, they last all day and they're so pigmented and they're just the best formula ever. Now I'm just adding buxom lip gloss in peach uh, daiquiri. So that is the finished look, really nice rose gold cranberry smoky eye, perfect for this time of year, um, it just brings so much warmth to your eyes, it's so like Christmassy, sparkly, who doesn't want to sparkle at Christmas time. So I hope you guys liked it, if you've recreated let me know, you can add lashes with this look or you can just leave it the way it is, I just used mascara. Um, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already and please follow my Twitter. And my Instagram is just Katie O'Farrell and I'll link it down below. And I hope you still have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.